This is our annual Plankton cruise for our biological oceanography class for these graduate students. We need to get students out in the field to actually see what we're talking about. So we, this is a lecture class and uh, there's a lot of great videos and things like that, but nothing, nothing beats coming out here, taking a sample of water and seeing what's in a drop of water out here in the environment and actually seeing its real color, seeing it swim, seeing it feed, seeing it interact. It gets people, uh, gets students and, and faculty excited to be out in the field and see um, see the live organisms. This year, for the first time, we've also included the physical oceanography students, although we've always done physical oceanography anyway, uh, because you have to put the, uh, the biology in the physical context. So we always do CTDs where we measure uh, temperature, light, salinity, and the profile, depth profile in the water column and chlorophyll. And then we sample and we look at the plankton, both the phytoplankton and the zooplankton, um, and see how that changes over the, those three stations along the salinity gradients and how that relates to the, the physics as well. Most of our research at OMC is, is highly data driven. And those data come from somewhere usually one of these research cruises, uh, especially for fishery. And so it's useful for us to come out here and see how that data is collected and kind of get a better idea of the soup to nuts process of doing science. Looking at some Tina Fours and Lion's Mane Mojelli up close was pretty cool. Got to see a decomposing polychaete in one's mouth. So that's another thing you kind of get when you go on these cruises is an up close and personal look at some of the animals that we study, which is cool in its own right. In class, some people don't normally get out on a boat. They don't really have hands-on experience unless you come out here and get quality time with all the instruments. So it's been really great to learn all the different things. So a lot of these students are going to, in their own research or in their careers, are going to need to learn the techniques that we're using today in terms of sampling, in terms of what this equipment is, in terms of how to handle yourself on a research vessel. Um, and so we get out here and have that real experience. And we also get to actually take these samples and see the living examples of the organisms that we're talking about in class every day. It's a great, it's a great experience not just for the students, but it's a good experience for the instructors as well. Um, so, I mean, that's the point. We, we really can take most of the concepts that we teach in class and we can, in one cruise, we can put it all together. We can say, look, this is what we're telling you about. It's right here. It's right in your backyard. You're right on an estuary, and all these organisms are living here and, and moving around in the circulation. And, and it's, a, it's just a, a really great way to, to, to synthesize everything that